All right. right. How Take are you? two. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, we're here at the uh, largest drone show in the U.S. with Michael Perry, the uh, managing director of uh, DJI in America. Uh, Michael, can you tell us something about what DJI brought to this show and what kind of new products you guys have? So DJI is here at AUVSI Exponential 2018 in Denver, Colorado. And we've got a lot on the show floor today, but what we're really focusing on is the breadth of our enterprise applications uh, for businesses. Obviously, one of the key things that we're showing off is the new Zenmuse X-T2, which combines uh, both visual information and thermal information in one camera payload. It's a powerful system that we're really excited about. We're also showing off the new uh, payload SDK, or PSDK, and how that incorporates different sensor payloads on top of the M200 platform. Uh, the example that we have here is with our partners at Slant Range, which is a, a MD, uh, NDVI sensor or multispectral sensor for agricultural uh, surveying solutions. We also have the MG1, which uh, is right here behind me. This is our agricultural spraying platform. And then last but not least, we have Aeroscope, which is our system for sensing the uh, drone environment around sensitive sites like prisons or airfields. So from kind of the uh, payload side to the platform to um, the, the system overall situational awareness, we have a wide variety of tools that we're showing off here this year. Now, uh, another question I have is that uh, a couple of days ago, DJI came out with a report with the number of people saved with the help of drones. It yeah. uh, seems that a lot of first responders, uh, police forces, yeah. uh, firemen are turning to drones as a solution for yeah, the problems that they face. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that as well and about what DJI uh, is doing maybe together with them? Yeah, so um, one of the things that's been so powerful about our platform is how accessible it is. So people across a wide variety of industries start getting our tools into their hands and thinking, what could I do with a sensor that can be moved anywhere in three dimensions? And uh, obviously we've seen that for a wide variety of novel applications, um, real estate photography and wedding photography, but also some truly transformative applications as well with search and rescue workers, police departments, firefighters, who are able to use the information and situational awareness provided by a drone in situations where every second counts. And the uh, situational awareness provided by a drone really helps inform on the ground decision making for teams that need to respond in real time to uh, fires or hostage situations. Um, so one of the things that's unique about DJI platforms is their um, accessibility. You can put it into most people's hands and they're able to fly. The high performance capabilities, so we've got the Mavic Air flying in here with you know, uh, 2.4 gigahertz frequencies bouncing all around, no GPS signal, and yet the platform uh, performs really stably. That's unique. Um, and then finally, the, the platform itself is flexible. Not only through the mobile SDK and the payload SDK, you can add on different applications or sort soft uh, information that's collected by the drone in a wide variety of ways. And that those three areas combine together to make a really powerful offering for a wide variety of industries, but certainly for uh, search and rescue work. And then I think on Thursday you guys have an award show, right? That's right. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that yeah. as well? Perhaps? So this is the first year that DJI is sponsoring uh, humanitarian awards. And the goal with that is to step back from just the, the business applications that we're all really excited about, but trying to acknowledge the pioneers in this area who are using drones for transformative social good. Um, so people who are saving lives on a daily basis using drones. And we've looked at applications following disaster response, uh, you know, people who have been using drones to uh, help uh, tell surfers that there are sharks nearby. And all these different applications help um, really show the, the value that drones are providing in our day-to-day -day lives. So we're, we're really appreciative of all the different innovators who are, have contributed to that. And this is an opportunity to acknowledge them. Cool. Now, the last question I have, I mean, we spoke a lot about the uh, enterprise and commercial solutions. Um, is there anything new coming perhaps for consumers as well this year or any big events yeah. that we should be uh, paying attention to? So we can't share anything in terms of the roadmap for our consumer uh, products or even our enterprise products. 
I can tell you that we are continuing to be committed to developing the best products for our end customers. And uh, the cycle of innovation at DJI does not stop. Um, and you can see that with a lot of the products on display here. And you'll, you'll see that in, moving forward in the future as well. All right, thank you so much for your time and have a great show. Thank you.